part of home remedies friends today part of home remedies let's learn the or let's look at this uh, one of the the important subject it's also one of the the bothering subject for the bothering issues for the children okay for the small children below 5 years or above 5 years even up to 10 years so this keeps happening sometimes for the some children especially right so what is that exactly is bed wetting bed wetting in the children we observe even before up to 5 years and beyond 5 years also we observe isn't it so why do they do that basically friends so all the time when or whatever the whatever the water we drink isn't it the what once we take the water so of course it goes through the the so called food canal and then it enters into our stomach and then ultimately it is going to be filtered by your kidney okay the water will be absorbed by the you know all your cells they will absorb and so rest of the water they i mean it all, all the whatever the toxins everything will be get into the that water itself because the water is going to the remove the all the toxins in the physical body as we know that isn't it so then it gets into the kidney the kidney filter it and then the uh, so called our urine will be going and stored in the so something called gall bladder the gall bladder is going to reserve or is going to have a reserve of this urination or urine isn't it so what will happen is so for the children especially their urine the, this uh, the gall bladder the so called gall bladder and its muscles or its nerves are not properly strength you know not having strength or not properly developed some of the especially some of the uh, children they suffer with that that's called nerves weakness or you can say their muscles are not properly developed around the gall bladder then what happens is it loses its retention to the it's, it's loses uh, loses the the nature of retaining the urine for some quite some time right what will happen the moment the urine comes into the gall bladder so this especially the people or the children below 5 years or after 5 years after 5 years it's a much problematic we should treat it with a kind of a medical observation and we should try to solve it of course we have some solutions i'll give you today but i'm telling you below 5 years if at all somebody is doing like this of course that also will be solved no problem but at the same time over over children is having this problem we should not scold them we should not scold them you know the parents uh, have got have got a tendency to scold them please do not do that they become inferior they feel like inferior so they get they get that kind of a inferior quality within their mind it stays permanently please don't do that what you do is try to coach them properly what is the coaching you have to do so with the nerves weakness or the muscles muscles strength is less with the gall bladder this problem is coming for some children not for all children isn't it so for them what you do is give some training before get into the bed you must go to urination and come before going to the bed no drinking of water even one one hour before itself stop the water isn't it and in between the night just make a habit of going to the toilet you go and you know urinate if at all any urine excess you will urinate it that is also one good practice isn't it and also there are many other reasons for getting this bed wetting is all involuntary urination right involuntary urination at night keeps happening isn't it so there are some other reasons are like you know hormonal imbalance hormonal problems genetical problems and as i said gall bladder problem isn't it and also a lot of stress they undergo nowadays children is, is also undergoing lot of stress so as we keep on observing in the outside uh, society so they are they are undergoing lot of stress because of their uh, studies and examinations all this you know, the competitive world isn't it so that is also a problematic so likewise the all these are the reasons but never scold them but give this kind of training so that you know they can slowly come out of this and also there is a uh, very good uh, you know the one common understanding is that as they grow older friends as they grow, grow older what will happen they will come out of this easily now let's let's understand or learn how to control the bed wetting so there are some techniques which i uh, try to give you which i already told you so let's uh, you know let's understand more so in most cases bed wetting disappears as the one ages as the age grows this bed wetting will go right so as i told you scolding a child leads to inferiority complex developing inferiority complex don't do that 
So that, that's what, no? We learned like, you know, making some toilet practices. All these toilet practices, what I told, whatever I told you, please give them these toilet practices. Okay. Then nicely, slowly they'll come out. Not a problem. And also today, what I'm going to teach you is, I'm going to teach one uh, occupation point, you know, occupation technique. So with that occupation point, what will happen? So with the uh, occupation point, you, you can, you know, you can make child to come out of that. When you press, you try try to give up. So the kind of a slow pressure or what the pressure, you know, however you do occupation activation, that energy centers, you keep activating, which I show you in the picture in the next slide. So please do that. Then what will happen by activating those, act, uh, the occupants, uh, they, so slowly children will come out. That kid will come out of this bedwetting problem. So let's do that. So let's learn that also today. And also this, whenever you are activating or stimulating the energy centers on the hands of the child, so do it slowly or mildly, smoothly you do it because the child hand or of the child hand will be very smooth in sensitive in nature. So please follow that. Now, so let's learn this. See here. See the picture. You can understand here. Isn't it? So now, one of the point here, that is a limp gland point. Activate that. Activate that nicely. So the limp gland point, how it will be? The limp gland point will be like this. See here, any hand, both hands. So the limp gland point will be, this is the anklet. So at this point, the center. From here, the, the middle finger, straight one line you can put here. This is the center point, right? From here, the two fingers, put the two fingers here, okay? Then you will get one point here, one point here, okay? So this point is called limp gland, limp gland point. Now go on press, like this. Press it, five seconds, keep it and leave it. But press gently because child hand will be sensitive. Just press gently like this, leave it. Gently like this, 20 times you do. So that will solve the problem. Not only that, what other, other, uh, the other one more point on the, the occupant says on the back of the little finger. See here, little finger on the back. Both, both the little finger on the both hands, you can find these points. These points, what happen? So you have to nicely, gently, you have to massage like this on the back side. On the, not on the front side, okay? Back side, like this. Back side, continuously 20 times. Do this. Do this. Here also. Do this. So here is the points are there. There are points here which are related to the, this bedwetting. So they will solve it. This point. Activate these energy centers on the back of the little finger, friends. Like 20 30 times to this okay so this is one of the technique now so the other thing is friends we also have some solutions in the homeopathy what are the technique what are the solution the homeopathy let's see that see here use the belladonna 30 belladonna 30 causticum 30 homeo medicine which will control this bed wetting okay so you can just take the uh, about uh, four to five fills. Whenever you take, uh, you take Beldona 30, Causticum 30 in the morning or in the evening, whatever, right? So give this, uh, this medicine is also going to control the bed wetting easily, okay? And also there is a equisitum few, that is a mother tincture. So what you need to do, take a half glass of water and uh, four drops you put into that and that along with the tincture, take in the morning and evening, both times you do this. So definitely this bed wetting will be solved. That can be resolved. So that is equisitum few. That is the mother tincture, friends. Okay. So these are the solutions in the homeo also available. Please follow that. So thank you, friends, for listening patiently till this time. Thank you all.